Hi, I'm Pam Jones. Welcome to Fighting for What's Right with personal injury attorney Barry Doyle. So, you had mentioned that there are three basic benefits that an injured worker can get. One of those three was medical expenses. What are the other two? The other two are temporary total disability, that's the two-thirds your average weekly wage while you're off. And the other is permanent partial disability, which is the lump sum settlement you get at the end of the case, and it's associated with the permanency that results from the injury. I'd like to discuss the disability benefit. How much is it? Okay, the basic temporary total disability benefit is two-thirds of your average weekly wage. Now, basically the idea behind this is that by paying somebody two-thirds of their average weekly wage while they're off, it's enough money to sustain somebody, but it's not like they're getting paid for not working. It's going to be enough to keep a roof on their head, to keep food on the table, but not let somebody just stay off work indefinitely. The way that the amount gets calculated is based on the average of the last 52 weeks of work. Okay, that's how it gets calculated. There are some caveats with that, though. One of those is that overtime is excluded from the calculation. So if you have a job where overtime is a significant part of your work, you, you may see a real significant difference between what you get for your temporary total disability check versus what you actually would normally take home. Now, there's also a minimum and a maximum benefit. So if you're a very high earner, you may find, find yourself getting the, the maximum TTD benefit, the maximum disability benefit, but that may be well short of, of what you would normally take home week in and week out. That's basically how all, all that gets calculated. So the, the key number in this is your average weekly wage. And it's an important number because it, it applies not just with the disability benefit you get while you're off, but it also figures into the calculation for the settlement you get when the case is over. Oh, okay. Now, while you were saying that, I just had a random thought pop into my head. What happens if you have two jobs? Okay, so if you have two jobs and your employer is aware of your second job, you actually add the wages that you make in both jobs into that calculation for what your average weekly wage is. And that, that can make a real big difference depending on which job you get hurt on. I worked on, on a case a, a few years back where, where there was a, a young woman who had just finished nursing school. She was working as a, a nurse in a labor and delivery unit and making really pretty good money doing that. But you know, she had student loans that were outstanding and she wanted to knock those down. So she was picking up a couple of shifts a week at a, a local bar and grill and she tripped going down the stairs one night and landed and she broke her elbow. And you know she was off work from both her job at the, the bar and grill as well as her job at the uh, hospital because you, you can't deliver babies with, with your, your arm in a cast. So the bar and grill, their insurance company was attempting to, to pay her the disability benefits based just on what she made at the bar and grill. But it was actually a much higher number that she was really supposed to be paid because her wages at the hospital had to be calculated into what her average weekly wage was. And for her, that was a difference of several hundred dollars a week. And uh, eventually that, that played out to a, a difference of you know, tens of thousands of dollars when her case was settled at the end. Thanks, Barry. You've been watching Fighting for What's Right with personal injury attorney Barry Doyle. Feel free to visit us on the web at fightingforwhatsright.com.